Uh, let's Ooh, see. Uh, Hitman 3, the long-awaited follow-up in the Hitman fr- franchise, dropped on January 20th, albeit it had some confusion in regards to the backwards compatibility with its uh, predecessors, Hitman 1 and 2. Uh, for those unaware, in Hitman 2, you could re-download the levels from Hitman 1 to play them from the same launcher, which came with the uh, gameplay additions that they made to 2, as well as the graphical overhaul and whatever associated things. Um, so it's just going to be the same practice for hitman 3 except for the two previous games um but unlike the previous titles uh hitman 3 was releasing exclusively on the epic store as far as pc is concerned meaning that users that own steam versions of the prior games um would not be able to take advantage of it they would have to rebuy hitman 1 and 2 through the epic store um, the catch with this being that those that bought Hitman 3 within the first 10 days of launch would receive Hitman 1 for free, but the sequel they they couldn't do the same thing for, so they discounted the price uh, by 80% in order to get people in there, but it's still not a perfect solution. Uh, IO Interactive, the developer, and Epic have since tweeted that both companies are looking forward to are looking to resolve the issue and guaranteeing that players won't be required to repurchase a game that they already own on a separate platform. Um, as a quick side note, the issue is non-existent for the console versions, and this is entirely just a PC issue that exists because of different store- digital storefronts. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and save the second part of this till after, but anyone have any thoughts on the digital storefront mm-hmm. snafu? No, I... Take care, uh, well, this is um, <laughs> this is the cost of having a guaranteed Hitman Four. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is that I'm probably not going to play the new Hitman games until they come out with like a pack or a bundle for all three games. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, I could care less about bald generic assassin men. <laughs> yeah. would say- to be fair, that's literally. His point, to be fair. He's yeah. supposed so, to be as generic as possible. <laughs> it's not, a ba- it's not about the baldness of, of the hitman. It's about the shenanigans that you can get into. <laughs> so you can put on a chef's outfit and no one bats an eye. Back- the same series that gave us the gimp nuns. The you, you weird, like, up- beating you can beat up people with the same banana like 50 times in a row it's magical i just i get why people love these games and that's great and i'm all here for it i just i'm terrible at stealth games like me and a friend tried to co-op splinter cell conviction and i almost drove across the country to like strangle him so (laughs) i can't can't, like i'm not good and i don't care about stealth games unless they give me an option to like brutally murder someone but um, I guess going so. back to the digital storefront issue of this is um, I think this is a good inciting incident for uh, developers and digital s- store platform holders such as Steam and Epic to um, develop practices for, for to, to, to resolve issues like this. I don't think people should have to buy the same game twice, especially when it's on the same platform, just not the same uh, digital storefronts. Because I believe even, what was it? I think it was The Witcher 3, you, you can... Um, even The Witcher 2 also, you can import saves from like the Steam version of, of prior games and still have them like go in between. Mm. And but ironically, I, um, uh, uh, how Ubisoft does it, Uplay would also fix this as well. Having uh, you know, force, then, forcibly go through Uplay, and if all three games had to forcibly go through Uplay, they're all still connected in that way. Right. Also, your save, you can transfer your PC save files from a Hades onto the Switch version mm. of it. Mm-hmm. It's a little more complicated here with it being like extra content versus saves, but I would imagine it's still like because um, someone was saying just like yeah, the authorization like to let you download that content is like literally less than a megabyte. So I don't know. Um, in a bit of uh, better news, uh, IO Interactive has managed to use the is it has used compression technology to condense Hitman Three alongside the previous two games worth of content to seventy gigabytes. And it's a hell of a technical achievement, especially considering that Hitman 2, with Hitman 1's levels downloaded, equaled 149 gigabytes. So Hitman 3 is sitting at... Hitman 3, with the previous two games, is sitting at 70 gigabytes. That is that is more than... Uh, le- less than... What's the word I'm looking for? That's less than half than uh, Hitman 2. So it's more games, uh, literally uh, less more than half of the file mm-hmm. size. 
And I, I think that's like super crazy important, especially on the console sphere where the PS5 has like what, 660 something mm-hmm. gigs. So yeah, make games bigger, have better assets, but compress that shit. It will save people a lot of space. H- have you guys have have any storage issues on your PS5s? Just like having yeah. it constantly delete uh, stuff? Yeah, I still yeah. have to play Cold War and that's still sitting. Mm-hmm. I had to I actually went through and I deleted like all the multiplayer modes and only Good. have the, that's the right way modes. to do it. I only have the story modes on there pretty much that I'm going to be playing. Like yeah, <laughs> that saved me, up so much space on my PlayStation. For me, it was actually cyberpunk that took up a fuck ton of space on my PlayStation. Yeah. So I ended. So, cause when I got back from home for Christmas, I downloaded all the games I got. So to get Sackboy, Assassin's Creed Valhalla and cold war, just the campaign, I had to delete watchdogs legion I had to delete Godfall, and I had to delete uh, Astro's Playroom. Yeah, <laughs> just to fucking fit everything. I was like, For, "Dear God, that's that's pretty much what I'm getting into the habit of." Is as soon as I finish a game, I'm, I just delete it. Because mm-hmm. I know that I'm not gonna. If I know I'm not gonna go back to it for a long time or ever, then I just delete it. Yeah, I delete the base game. I don't delete my saves though, because I know I'm gonna re-download yeah. Watch Dogs when the when the story DLC comes out, so I can play mm-hmm. it. But exactly. I, so yeah, I deleted Watch Dogs. Did not delete any of my his. Like the saves, the exactly. saves are still there, and the saves don't take up much space. Uh, it's the game itself that takes up all that space. What so. about uh, you, Mesa? Yeah, pretty much the same thing. Um, when I was when I was installing a uh, 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 Cyberpunk. Um, I had to delete um, a bunch of stuff. Um, you know, I, I, I keep, yeah. Like, wait, how big which, is it on console? It's like uh, 90. I think it's like ninety or so on PC. I'd have yeah, to double check. It's around the same. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's around the same on console. But you know, after I beat it, I deleted it. So um, mm-hmm. I've I have I'm 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 a dearth of space now. I, I'm, <laughs> I've been I haven't have haven't quite filled up the the the, the hole yet. So I'm lucky, I'm lucky in that regard. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I know it was a little bit of a jump for me um, on my, and even like my old build and like even uh, my PS4 and Xbox, I would just have like a four terabyte external. So like basically every single game I owned was installed and available at any given moment, but I have become a bit more mm-hmm. um, rational about what I need to keep on there. And uh, Cyberpunk 2077 on PC is 62.26 gigs. So maybe a bit smaller than what you have on PS5, which is weird because this is higher assets and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Huh. That's odd. Keanu, Keanu Reeves takes up 40 gigs just, just by himself. 